Hey Ellie, Rebecca and I broke up. Can you come over? What? Is this a joke? It's actually ending? This is... strange. Months and months of watching him and his girlfriend make this seemingly perfect relationship. And just like that, this feels like it's out of nowhere. And I shouldn't feel so good about it. I really shouldn't. But God, I hated seeing him with her. I don't know what the worst part was. Maybe the fact that I thought he liked me. A fact I drunkenly made known to about 10 people at his Halloween party. God, I don't even know if I like him or if I just like that he likes me. Just one of the things I proudly proclaimed the night that he first kissed Rebecca. Yeah, that was fun to watch. Or maybe Rebecca was the worst part. Rebecca, who was kind of my friend, meaning we couldn't hold a conversation but commented on each other's photos. The tall, tanned, and thinned Rebecca. The perfectly applied makeup on eternally perfect skin Rebecca. The objectively, intensely, extremely beautiful Rebecca. The type of person whose beauty just hits you all at once the moment you meet her. No having to find a way to prove it. Unlike some of us. I know that being pretty doesn't solve all of your problems, but you do get to go through life's problems while being insanely attractive. It sounds pretty appealing to me. So even if Asher had liked me, even for a second, once he was with Rebecca, there was no hope for me. Her beauty had thrown me straight out of the pool of potential girlfriends. But then, this practically perfect message a message I've imagined getting a hundred different ways for months. All this time I've watched him and his stunning girlfriend fall for each other and killed myself over wanting a guy who was with someone else and was utterly uninterested in me. But now he's single and he thought of me. On my way. I hope that reads as cute and not desperate or happy. I shouldn't be this happy. No. He's my friend, and he's sad, so I am not enjoying this at all. Of course I'm sad, too. I'll seem sad when I'm there. But is he even sad? Shouldn't he want to be alone? Shouldn't he be getting drunk with his mates? Why didn't he ask one of them to come over? It's not as if I'm his closest friend. Well, I guess I'm probably physically the closest. Yeah, that's probably why he asked me. Except I don't believe that. I know I'm deluding myself. He hasn't just spontaneously broken off the most successful relationship he's ever been in just because he's got feelings for me. But what if he has? What if he finally turned and looked at me one day and saw that I'm this funny, sweet person who's maybe a bit beautiful if you give me some time? Maybe he's felt like this the whole time and finally decided to stop hiding it. Maybe Rebecca was the one who saw those feelings. Maybe he hadn't even realized himself. I'm not getting my hopes up, I just can't stop smiling. I should tell someone what's happening. Is this too private? I should at least tell Sam. They were the one handing me the box of tissues every five minutes for the better part of a year. But that's just in their nature, I guess. To act interested in my boy drama and cheer me up with stupid jokes. They've earned hearing an actual update on this, right? But I don't know if this is mine to tell. But I really want to tell Sam. Hey, you actually put on deodorant today. Just for you, Al. Uh, which means we're in this position way too often, by the way. You're kind of crushing my arm. The phrase shoulder to cry on exists for a reason. Now stop moving or I'll use your shirt as a tissue. Okay, fair enough. Circulation is overrated anyway. We can sit like this for five more minutes, but then you have to stop being a male-written female character cliché. But I don't know if I'm going to feel better in five minutes. And I'm not thin enough to be a male-written female character anyway. Okay. Ten minutes. But only because that made me sad. And I'm getting comfy now. Is this the part of the movie where we learn you're in love with me? <laughs> God, even when you're this sad, you think you're the main character. Especially when I'm this sad. It's great material for those aesthetic TikTok edits made by 14-year-olds. Oh my god. You're delusional. Especially if you think I'm in love with you. I think the leaving cert is finally starting to mess with your head. But it's too cheesy not to be true, Sam. I mean, 
The girl is crazy about the boy who doesn't know she exists, but girl's best friend is secretly in love with her. Oh, you think we're best friends? Ooh, no. That's embarrassing. Hey, come on. I'm embarrassed enough already. This is not the time for teasing. And how dare you remind me that the leaving cert exists? Don't worry. It's going to be just okay. In a couple of months, you'll be out of here, off in the sexiest university you can imagine. He was asking me how to impress her. That's how impossible it is for him to even see me as an option. I could try to fall in love with you, if you want. Thanks. But don't tell me till the big dance, okay? The prom or the homecoming or the spring thing or whatever. Yeah, I'll wait until our school literally turns into an American high school movie with you as the main character. That can't take that long, right? Right. I do love you, though, Elle. I love you, too. Why aren't they picking up? Sam, come on, I need to tell someone. I need to know if this is a good idea. Why isn't Sam on their phone? Is that a bad sign? No, if the universe wanted to stop me, I would know, right? Yeah, that's fine. I should go. Should I have rang the bell? Was I way too fast? No, he knows how long it takes me to walk to his house. If I took too long, he'd think I was getting dressed up. Which I was. But whatever. I'm here now. I'm not even that dressed up, just enough that I didn't want his mom to answer the door. Hi, Ellie. Hey. Come upstairs with me? Yeah, sure. I haven't been in his room in forever. Is his family home? No, obviously he wouldn't invite me over if his parents weren't home. No, wait, would he? Is that why we're going upstairs? Because they're just flaking somewhere else in the house? They know me, though. Do they know about the breakup? God, are Carrie and Paul ignoring me? <laughs> you know they'd never ignore you, Ellie. They're out to dinner, so your plans to be adopted by them are gonna have to wait a little longer. Oh, well then there really was no point in me coming here. <laughs> Seriously. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks for coming over. Any time. So, what happened? I don't know. I thought things were really good. I really want to believe he's fine. But I guess not. Just out of the blue? Wow. But people don't just break up for no reason, Asher. Come on, I've set it up. Say it was because of me. Apparently, they do. Oh, shit. Okay, I knew I was lying when I said my hopes weren't up, but I didn't realize they were this high. I thought it was just a small part of me. Or at least I was pretending it was just a small part of me rather than my entire being. I thought that was enough. That as long as I didn't admit even to myself how much I wanted this, it was okay that I did. I'd be ready for the cosmic sign or the movie magic, or whatever forces are at play to kick in and give me my big romantic moment. Or I told myself I wasn't expecting anything, so I couldn't be disappointed. But I'm sitting next to a guy who is still very much in love with someone else, and my hopes feel as though they fell from 30,000 feet and each broken shard has lodged in my throat. And I can't even do anything. No matter how awful this feels for me, it's worse for him. Even if it's not, and his pain is a paper cut compared to mine. I have to stay with him while he's hurting. I don't want him to be alone right now, and... Honestly, I don't want to be either. I'm not used to Asher being sad. I hate it. I wish I could make things better. I want him to be happy. No, I want to be the one that makes him happy. Except I don't know how. I'm worse at this than I thought. He's looking at me like I'm about to make everything okay. It's a nice look, but I can't take it. Hugging him 
Seems like a good start. Yeah, it hides his face well. But with his arms around me, he could probably feel my heart racing. At least my face is hidden too. You don't deserve this, Asher. You're so funny and sweet and amazing. You should be with someone who could see that. Why did I say that? That was flirty, not friendly. I just gave myself away. Now he's pulling away and looking at me. Oh my god, he's kissing me. He's not thinking straight, but neither am I. But his hands are on my back and he's kissing me. He's sad and vulnerable. And he's kissing me. I know I don't want it to happen this way, but it's happening. At this point, it's going to be awkward. It doesn't really matter if I stop now or if I wait until after. I know this is a terrible thing to do, I know. But... This doesn't feel real, but I don't think that's a good thing. We need to talk, but I'm afraid of what he'll say. My mom's asking me where I am, and I'm already on my way home. Smile for the camera, please. Asher, stop. You're so annoying. Don't be a baby and just pose for the picture. I feel like I always do a peace sign. Asher. No, stop. Don't tell me it's a video. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I actually hate you. Oh my god. Come on, just let me show you off a bit. Their stories were always pretty hard to watch. Yeah, I was jealous, but also because they were just so obnoxious. But right now, I can't seem to stop looking at their old posts. Walking into school feels so strange now. On the way in, I saw Asher. I complimented his shirt and explained the joke was because it was the uniform and not actually a cool shirt. So we've talked. That counts as talking, right? I'm kind of convinced that it's gotten out. Everyone's looking at me, they're judging me. No, I'm being paranoid. No one could know, Asher wouldn't say anything, I know he wouldn't. This is okay, everything's okay. I'm a little late so no one's by the lockers, that's fine. I'm just walking into English. It feels like everyone's looking at me, but only because I came in late, obviously, and no other reason. Okay, I'm sitting, ready to start the day, and Rebecca is walking out of the class very quickly. So she knows. And now I can feel the stairs, and not the made-up ones. The real horrible stairs that feel like they're burning me. Because... And I am just now realizing this, but... The girl who sleeps with her kind of friend's ex-boyfriend the day they break up... Is a bitch. Oh god. I have to talk to Rebecca. She's in the third bathroom I tried, all of which have at least one girl crying, but that's a separate issue. She looks at me and I'm sure she's pissed off, but there's something else as well. She's hurt, she looks wounded. I think this is the first time she seems like a real person. She's always seemed too perfect. Not to the point that she couldn't be hurt. I just didn't think that she could be hurt by me. In my head, I was so far beneath her, none of my actions could reach her. But that's not fair. I actually had the nerve to think it was unfair towards me. She was meant to be the mean popular girl in this movie. And I made her cry. Rebecca, I'm so sorry. I don't have a good reason for what happened. But if you want, I can try to <laughs> no. explain it. I no. I don't want to hear it. I am not in the mood to have a heart to heart or a cat fight or whatever. I don't want to give the girls more to gossip about and the guys more to be a dick about. I just want to be mad for a while. Maybe some other time I will be moved by your sob story about having a crush on my boyfriend. But not today. You knew I liked Asher? And you were trying to be subtle? Yeah, of course I knew. But not until we were already together. It's, it's not like I did something to you and went after your crush. You didn't have to try it and get back at me and sleep with my... No, 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 it wasn't like that. 
I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Did Asher know? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, he knew. I mean, we didn't talk about it. I didn't think I had to worry. Oh, you were right not to worry. I mean, look at me. And look at you. I am the opposite of a threat, and I never thought in a million years- Oh, just shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> it wasn't because of what you fucking looked like. I trusted him, and I trusted you. And everything about this is just shit. I don't want to listen to your self-deprecating spiel, or tell you that you're pretty during your half-assed apology. You can't use feeling bad about yourself to just do whatever you want. Being insecure isn't an excuse for being shitty. She's right. You're right. I swear I wasn't going to pretend I'm innocent or anything. <laughs> and what did you think was going to happen? What? When I found out. When everyone found out, you seemed so surprised. What did you think was going to happen? I didn't think... I, I never thought that, um... I thought you were done with the poor me act, Ellie. I didn't think anyone would find out. And you were okay with that? I guess... I... <laughs> you know what? This... You is not on me. Whatever you're going to say, I'm not in the mood for, so please just leave. Okay. I really am sorry. Great. Bye. It feels wrong leaving, but I don't think we have anything else to say. I endure three classes of stares and whispers and holding back tears before I finally get to see Asher. He knew that I liked him. Why does that bother me? He knew when he asked me to come over. Why does that have to change anything? It doesn't mean he expected anything. But he knew that I would want something to happen. Doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't feel the same but why wouldn't he have told me if he did? God damn it, how did Rebecca know? Even if he told his friends, wouldn't he have done everything to make sure she didn't find out? He wanted her to know. He was embarrassed that he got dumped and wanted a sure thing, so he texted me. Hey. Hey. So, Rebecca knows about yesterday. Yeah, I told her. What? She asked me how I was doing. And we got to talking, so <laughs> it's not like we said it was a secret. How long have you known that I liked you? Oof, he didn't expect that. I, I didn't know. You didn't. You had no idea. I thought, I guess I thought you might. But I didn't know for sure. So when you invited me over, you planned on... No, well, not planned on. But yeah, I, I guess the thought crossed my mind. But you're not interested in me, are you? Ellie. I don't want you to think of a nice way to say it. I just want you to say it. No. I'm not. So maybe you shouldn't have slept with me? <laughs> Ellie, I don't know what you want me to say. I know I never came right out and told you my feelings, Asher. But you must have realized that being with you meant something to me. I thought it meant something to you, too. You really don't see what's wrong with this. He's thinking. I can actually see the cogs turning in his head. 
but I don't think he's realizing his mistake or realizing he should feel guilty. He's just thinking how to defend himself. <laughs> I thought you'd be happy. I, I thought it would make you happy. Oh, right, yeah, because I'm so desperate that I'll just take whatever I can get. You were doing me a favor. I didn't mean it like that. Mm, no, I think you did, actually. Look, you wanted to get together, so we did. I don't think that's that bad. But if you're upset, then sorry you feel like that. It doesn't matter. I'm done. Ellie. I said I'm done. I wish I had been done. I wish that realizing someone was an asshole was enough to end any and all feelings I had for them. But I wish for a lot. I wish that my dad didn't ask if we were still friends. I wish that I had told my mom what happened. I wish I still didn't obsess over how perfect Rebecca was. I really wish people didn't expect others to act how they do when we imagine them. Maybe then I could have seen Asher for what he was. But wouldn't people be better if they were how I imagined? If they were, maybe Asher would have apologized and he'd tell me how lucky he was to ever be with me. I wish I could let go of that idea. Then maybe I wouldn't have caved in and gotten with him the next time we were drunk. And a few times after that, I wouldn't have convinced myself it would lead to something eventually. I wouldn't have been hurt when he started dating someone else. When we eventually stopped talking. I wouldn't have waited for him to say he missed me. Ellie, I am sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did, and I'm, I'm done trying to find ways to excuse myself. I, I used you to get back at someone I was angry at, and you were right to be upset. I know that I'll never be right for you. God, I'll never come close to deserving you. I can't make up for what happened. But you'll find someone who'll see how amazing you are right away. I know it. Ellie, I'm not angry with you. But sometimes when I think back on it, I don't think I told you the truth that day in the bathroom. Maybe I had been scared it was going to happen between you and Asher since the beginning. Seeing how close you two were, the way you looked at each other. Maybe I was the jealous one after all. I guess my time with Asher will always piss me off, but I don't doubt it was right to end it. I'm sure it pisses you off too, but hey, we're free now. At least I learned from you, Al. Seeing someone I love make such an obviously stupid choice over and over again was hard, really hard. But now I know when someone isn't worth it, I had to let you get there on your own. It was frustrating to watch, but maybe I can be smarter without having to experience something like that myself. Sometimes I wonder if he did that for me on purpose. At least one of us got something out of it, right? I wish any of them had said any of that. Elle, get off your phone. We're trying to have a family meal. Reheated pesto pasta and shitty student accommodation is the furthest thing from a family meal. That's the thanks that I get after slaving away all day. No, you know what? That's it, young lady. You have lost your phone privileges. Hey! Let's see who you're texting at an hour like this. Oh, God. Um, you still follow Asher? Hmm? Yeah, I, I guess I just never got around to unfollowing him. Sorry, 
I shouldn't have mentioned him. No, it's okay. It's hardly a fresh wound, you know. It was ages ago. I'm not still in love with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. That's new. You loved him? I don't know. I think I did. Is that really sad? No, it's sweet. (laughs) And very sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I really am over him. Sure took you long enough. When did it finally happen? Oh, December 9th. (laughs) I don't know. Over time, he just started taking up less space. In my life, in my heart, in my head. I don't think I could ever be like that. I think once I love someone, I'll love them forever. It could be a bit of a problem for me. Is that why you followed me to college? No. I was just feeding your obsession with me, obviously. Oh, right. Yeah, my obsession with you. Yeah, I actually haven't thought about that whole thing with Asher in a while. And the only thing you got out of it in the end was that weird coffee date with Rebecca. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about that. She was nice, but it was weird. It was good coffee, at least. Yeah, something good came out of it, after all. She did make me realize I don't want to be the girl who resents and reduces other women because they're beautiful. Kinda wish it hadn't taken her to point that out. I don't know. I think I should have learned something from the whole thing. I mean, I put all that time and energy into this terrible relationship that wasn't even a relationship in the end. It just doesn't feel satisfying. Yeah, I get you. It's almost as if life isn't like a movie after all. Okay, okay, I thought we agreed we wouldn't compare our lives to shitty movies anymore. But even in real life, shouldn't this all lead to something? Alright, okay. If you want your big movie ending, then I think there's a way to do it. The hero needs to beat the villain, once and for all. So... All you have to do is click that beautiful, cinematic, block this account button. Come on, main character, it's your moment. Okay, okay. All right, well done. I'm so proud of you. Now we can roll the credits. And I'll get started on my sequel.